So we're heading into Lincoln right up here. We're probably gonna park and walk the rest of it. Uh, there's some of these places like this place here are private residences, even though they're old. In part of the town, people live there, and most of them are marked private to stay out. And then there's other places like here. Go down here a little bit. Near the weeds. This here is the elephant son store. In 1876, they started a store here in Lincoln. They supported the McSweeney side during and after the war. And um, later, uh, it was made into a sanatorium. On the road. And these are private residences. This row here is for sale. You can buy a historic place. And you either live there or do something touristy. Here's a private residence. And this is a uh, cafe. Stop here and get lunch, uh, some dinner, and an old historic building. And then right across the street is a uh, private property, but it's an old building. Well, see what this place is. It's got a sign. This is the Montana store owned by the Montana family. One of the first in Lincoln. Operated as a general store. I'm not going to read all that. Here, 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 here. I did pay the money to see all these places, so uh, it was supposed to be open, so I thought I came back and had to, had to push on the door kind of hard to get it open, but I got it open. Man, it's nice and cool in here. The Shearer counter. I'm not sure what the Shearer counter is. It's not real free. No, it's plastic. I was going to get me one. I was hungry. There you go. Let's see. This was the store. Didn't carry a whole lot. Peppers. Well, uh, there's never that way. We got some sacks of stuff over here. Big granny meal for coffee. I must have lived in this store. Here's this background. Nice little stove. Camping place that, uh, and it says that uh, McSweeney's residence and the store was pillaged, so they brought some troops in and they camped right over here behind this house. This old house here. So we're here at the visitor center to the Lincoln State Monument, right across the street. Here's Annie. Coffee and gifts and local art. This is a private residence, I believe. And this is a private residence. It was built in 1901. I like these old buildings. Whoops! I think it must have got the water. Rock on top. Well, that's heavy. Anyway. Water in there. Lincoln Gallery. Modern art. Wow, oh, there's a bunch of Western guys.
That's really cute. I'm gonna do that. This is more she's going on baby. These guys are chasing the guy in the other picture. So it says here this rock that has some engraving on it was done in 1939. The passenger liner SS Columbus was scuttled in the Atlantic Ocean by the U.S. fleet. And 600 people were took prisoners and they were brought here. They were civilians, but they were held here because they were Germans. And, uh, but the town folk here treated them so good that they left this rocket in honor of the town folk for treating them so nice while they were in captivity. Just walking around these old places. The Jackal, the typical type of dwelling built by early Hispanic san uh, settlers. So this is a dwelling. This is what people first visited. Because this, this thing, my head, would, my head would just about hit that there. So it's only about six feet tall. And they put upright posts in the ground, and then they filled mud in between. I could live in a place like this, it wouldn't bother me at all.